An update on Halo Infinite's co-op flighting process, more ranked modes are coming into Halo Infinite as well as a fix to the CSR gains, for more Bungie Dev sounds off about recent changes to Halo. And Halo Infinite's store is looking kind of busted right now, but if you want to know more, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. So a lot of people on Monday were saying, oh my god, Halo is called flighting starting today, and that's not the case. And the community director, Sketch, here said PSA team is still working on the upcoming Halo Infinite Network co-op flight insider build, uh, while we also said our target week would be July 11th. Many sites reported that starting on June 11th, which is still hoping for this week, but it has not started yet. Stating that the flighting status is a fluid kind of thing, and it's really kind of ready when it's ready, it did say with internal testing, it did find some more issues that are currently being worked on right now. So when could we expect the flighting to happen? Well, a lot of times these happen either on Thursdays or Fridays. We've had these flights happen before. If you guys remember back during the flights for the Halo Infinite, they'd come out on Friday or Thursdays. As that would make sense, as it kind of helps stress test some systems and more people play on the weekends compared to during the week as well. So I expect the flighting to happen probably on Thursday, if not Friday. Of course, this is, a, like I said, a fluid status when it comes to the actual release date of this. Initially, when the blog did release of co-op networking flighting, uh, it did say the week of July 15th, which was a Friday, then was later updated to the week of July 11th. So maybe like low key kind of gave out the actual release date that they're looking forward for this flight. Of course, once we get the concrete information, I'll let you guys know as soon as possible on this channel. It's that that's kind of what we do around here. So if you want to stay updated with everything going on with Halo, make sure you subscribe to the channel here, people. Now with the summer months, things can get a little drier, right? You probably need some more hydration. Well, one way to keep yourself hydrated is this stuff right here, Glitch Energy. Glitch Energy is a great way to have a sugar-free option to kind of keep you focused while on your game sessions. And taking as someone for myself who actually uses this stuff, when, especially when streaming, when I'm streaming those late night sessions, I kind of need to stay my focus, right? After working a full day and then coming to YouTube and then also then doing Twitch in the evenings, which I do stream every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, I definitely need to keep my focus. And well, Glitch Energy right here certainly does a great job of keeping my focus. And if you use my code Kevin Cool, you'll earn 25% off your purchase at checkout. Link to everything in the pinned comment down below, but let's get right back into those details. Did you have an issue while playing ranked where you just weren't actually gaining any form of CSR? Well, the Halo team has now fixed that issue, saying a back-end update to address the competitive skill CSR uh, issue has been updated live. If you're currently playing, update your game and stuff like that. So basically people were saying that like they were winning games, but not gaining any CSR. Now that's been up updated now, which I certainly come across this issue quite a bit where I was just winning games and honestly like not gaining anything, which is really nice to see uh, because obviously you want to be rewarded for your efforts in game. Uh, that is really awesome. But we also have some more information coming for ranked gameplay as well. A recent 343 dev officially stated that we do have these modes ranked coming in. Now we did know that some of these were coming into the game already, but now we know that these are officially going to be ranked modes on top of the social modes as well. Uh, right here at Zach Boyce, who's one of the developers here, one of the uh, multiplayer game designers here at 343, did state that in a recent blog update, but they also mentioned that ranked FFA is on the way and also ranked doubles is going to be on the way. If you guys remember, Sketch did say that doubles is coming, but we didn't really quite know for sure if it was going to be ranked. But now we know ranked FFA is coming and ranked doubles is coming, especially ranked FFA is really great because of the HDS side of things. They have free for all tournaments. They have free for all tournaments going on right now to qualify for the world's uh, championship when it comes to Halo uh, later in October. Well, you know, like that's really important to have a playlist to help foster that community right there. And that's gonna be coming on the way. We don't know exactly when, but I do believe Sketch that it is planned for season two. When that actually does come around, I'll let you guys know when we get some actual dates for this stuff. And it is Tuesday, guys. So you know, we have a shop update, but apparently the shop's a little busted this week right here, guys. So the Cordovan Thunder right here, which I believe is something that we've had previously as well, going for 600 credits. Basically another form of red and black that i'm pretty sure we've had this one before nothing really that crazy i for 600 credits i don't really feel like dropping it for just like red and black and it looks pretty standard it doesn't really look like anything that's like that unique or anything to where i would like oh my god i need to buy this kind of thing i mean it looks nice don't get me wrong i love like kind of like the worn out texture to it but just not really my thing i'd much rather spend that money on one of these uh hds packs right here right where you get like, say like the one I bought was FaZe, and you get like this coating right here for your Warhog, 
and like that stands out that's something that was to me worth picking up next we have the excellent blossoms right here these are just a series of emblems that you can put on your character for 100 credits uh just very, seems like it's very like you know uh what do you call it uh easter themed kind of stuff but then it's not you know we're like what full on into july now I feel like you're a little late on like updating this kind of stuff but hey if you like emblems for 100 credits why not if you're in that thing cats and dogs for the weapon charm as well the dog just kind of looks like well just like a dog pretty much right there nothing too crazy the cat right here has a bit of like a well master chief look to the cat right here that's your thing 300 credits if you want it go for it that's a kind of a sizable kind of chunky weapon charm right there kind of surprising and this right here as well as talking about saying that the shop's kind of bugged right now the locust armor set right here which does look pretty sweet for your rock shasta core not available it says core required for this equipment and yeah obviously we've unlocked this right now but currently not available but i did currently look onto the halo tracker website which if you guys have never gotten the halo tracker it's a great way to catch your stats and your rent your games and stuff like that because well you can't check it out in game sadly uh but anyway so the locust set comes with the locust helmet right here uh helmet attachment the raven smoke coating right here which is well just that coating that we have right here as you can see it looks way more purple in the image right here than it actually is in game it looks very more muted kind of like more subtle which i think if you went like full on more saturated color look a little bit nicer uh the those shoulder pads right there this crazy looking uh chest piece attachment right there with like 18 different attachments right on it these are all just different uh chest piece attachments which is kind of like you're going full bulky battle boy right there for sure and also the doisek kiss which is like a cool like stabby wrist uh attachment which for the rock shasa we definitely need some more of those wrist attachments right there that looks really freaking awesome not gonna lie so if you're really into the rock shasa core i mean this would actually probably be something worth picking up it does look really awesome it has some really cool unique bits of customization that you can probably customize and add on top of that me personally i'm not a huge fan of the core so i think i might just kind of pass on this one because i like kind of more just like the more traditional halo armor look to the whole thing but it might actually be something worth picking up if you guys are fans of that core and for the weekly ultimate you have a pretty cool looking visor right here they can attach onto your spartan and can i just say for the challenges that we've been experiencing for the last few weeks i have actually seen a great improvement when it comes to the gameplay experience when it comes to unlocking these things most of the stuff is just like play games play x amount of matches earn x amount of score that's cumulative and stuff like that so it's really just kind of play the game kind of stuff I and mean, if you have anything that's specific like get a disruptor kill it's like get one disruptor kill or get one shock rifle kill get one skewer kill so it's not anything that's like get 10 kills with a pulse carbine or something like that which is gonna be kind of ridiculous to get obviously uh, but I just want to say, you know, congrats to 343 to being like, you know, open and like responsive to the community here that they'd be willing to, you know, update the challenges and make them a little bit more forgiving for players to be able to grind through and unlock everything. And this recent bit of news here, guys, a former Bungie employee kind of sounds off on the recent happenings with Halo as in general. I mean, not like as in something very specific that's been happening like last few weeks or so. This is from Max Hoberman. He's part of the multiplayer lead, UI design lead and stuff like that back in Bungie days for the classic Halo games saying i love the sandbox before sprint and I remember toying with it maybe early halo 3 which i believe they showed an early build of it back in halo 2 development uh, that they mess around with it and thinking it was unnecessary and added complications some argue it's a required feature of modern shooters and the audience expects it priorities and what he means by like priorities as saying prioritize either the gameplay of the game or prioritize what people expect out of a shooter now i do believe that like sprint is a very common feature that you would pretty much expect to have in every type of shooter is it necessary no as a uh, very as various other games have proven especially like counter-strike one of the most popular games out there doesn't have sprint valorant doesn't have sprint either obviously obviously very different types of games right there uh to me personally i think halo infinite has done a great job with sprint i think halo 5 also did a great job of sprint as well by nerfing it in a bit especially not halo 4 and halo reach were pretty bad when it comes to sprint uh, but uh you know it just kind of changes the gameplay mechanics so much that you know if it was a working formula and they had to mess it up a little bit not mess it up with the kind of tweak it to see if it actually could work in halo from my experience though i do love halo infinite even with sprint or without sprint i'm still loving the game a lot this kind of touches on my previous video where i'm talking about saying bonnie ross kind of saved halo in a way 
because she kind of well kept the franchise going where Michael kind of wanted to kill it. Check out the full video if you want to understand what exactly what I'm talking about here. Personally, I think there's room for sprint in Halo. They just need to find a good medium for it. I think they did with Halo Infinite. When I miss this bottom part saying uh, that said, I also miss dual wielding, which yeah, I can understand that. Like, yeah, missing dual wielding is kind of sad because like do willing just kind of adds a little bit more variety and a little more gameplay to spice to what you're playing right there right i mean plus it's just awesome being able to hold two weapons at the same time right obviously it messes up with balance and also functionality when it comes to certain weapons i do believe that there is a way that you could properly balance it out uh but i think 343 just kind of must stick with just like simplicity and going core mechanics of halo and maybe down the line you know expanding on them when they have time to kind of do this kind of stuff personally i don't really miss dual wielding a whole lot though it is quite a lot of fun to just have two weapons if you guys are new to the channel i missed any content from me recently check out this place or here again link to all my gaming news and informational videos right there thanks so much for watching great i appreciate it catch you on the next one Peace out.